So, Croc, when we saw you the other day, man, you mentioned that your friends are getting hurt. Like, what, what would you like to teach the kids out there? Oh, lip grips, lip grips. So what Croc's trying to say is that don't use lip grips. When you catch a big croc or a flathead you don't want to keep, you're going to release, don't use the lip grips. Like they, they hurt. They hurt Croc and his friends. It puts a big piercing in their mouth. Also, you dangle a big flathead from lip grips, all that weight is hurting Croc's friends. So don't use lip grips. Use a glove. It may be a little bit scary at first to grab the fish, but once you hold the fish and support the belly, they don't move, so. So we always wanna look after the fish, guys. Use a glove instead of lip grips. It always protects them. You know, hand underneath the belly, just support that belly. Just really look after them while you've got them out of the water so that when they go back there, they're, um, they're gonna survive and they're gonna do well. Croc recommends no lip grips, use a glove. What else happens out there, Croc? Okay, what Croc's saying is, when, when you catch a big flathead and you bring it in the boat, they start thrashing around on the floor. Now, they, they're getting hurt, they're smashing against the deck, they're getting a lot of pain. So, the best way to treat a big flathead when you catch one, when you net it, hold it in the net, in the water. Let that flathead relax a bit, calm, then when you bring the flathead into the boat, it will be much more calmer and it's gonna protect Croc and his friends from getting hurt. Okay, what we're, what we're doing here, we've just caught this big fish, Sammy's land, as you saw. We're leaving it in the net. We're letting her calm down. Before we bring this fish onto the deck, we wanna calm, make her calm. Be, nothing worse than bringing in a big fish and then they start thrashing around on the, on the deck. They hurt themselves. So this is a good way to look after big flathead. And once she's settled, we'll bring her out on the water, onto the deck, she'll be nice and calm, ready for us to take some photos and get her back in the water. You saw, we just pulled this fish straight in, straight away. It sits calmly. We can now take some nice photos and get this beautiful girl back in the water. As always, when they're ready to go, she'll bite the thumb. Croc will be very happy with you, bro, the way you looked after her best buddy. Mm -hmm. And that was, they are so healthy. Bro! Woo! Broken Malakuta PB, brother. Well done. <laughs> awesome. What other issues do we come across, Croc? Oh, burn. Burn? Burn. Okay. So, another thing that what happens is when you, say it's a hot day and you bring your flathead onto the deck, the deck's hot. You're going to burn the flathead. So make sure the deck's wet. If you've got a brag mat, wet the brag mat first so it's nice and cool so croc doesn't get burnt. What other, also another important thing you want to do, croc? Aha, uh -huh, okay. So, what croc's trying to say is, is when you, when you catch a big flathead like that, put it back wet where you caught it, to the best of your ability. The big flathead this time of year, they're sitting where they are for a reason. If you catch a big flathead, put it back exactly where it is. So it's important to re-educate everyone that we look after such trophy fish. Now we're gonna put her back. We've looked after her. We've given this fish so much attention. Now we're gonna put her in, rest the belly, lower in the water gently. And again, we're not gonna let this girl go until she wants to. When she's ready to go, she'll, she'll start biting on, onto my thumb to let us know, there, there she goes. We're so lucky to be able to target in estuaries, big flathead, look after him so Croc and his mates don't get injured. So Croc, any final words, bro? Who wants to meet Croc? Everyone, come and meet Croc. Come on. Get in there, give him a big cuddle. Oh, oh Crocker. You want to meet Croc? Go on, Croc, come meet your friends, mate. You go hug it. Walk over, mate, there you go. There you go, hey, old Croc. Croc lives here in Malacuda. He's just giving us a bit of advice on how he wants to look after each other, so. Croc, we've got to head back towards Lake Ties, bro. But 
We'll see you next time, you know? Always love meeting this guy at Malacuta, so, Croc, we'll do our best to look after your friends, alright? Thanks, guys.